All right, so we've mixed up our uh, a cotton proof uh, dilution uh, at a ratio of about one part to nine. Um, note, when you go to mix the, uh, the product, just make sure you give the bottle a really good shake. Uh, it does end up with some um, solidified uh, or separated bits uh, in there, and you wanna make sure that that's been, um, been really mixed in and you haven't got any chunky bits uh, floating around in the liquid. And we're going to apply this now with a sponge uh, evenly across the exterior surface of the uh, of the canvas, and um, and then we'll go to the next part. All right, so here's the finished product. Uh, the canvas is still uh, drying after the application of the Nix Wax, a cotton-proof product. Uh, we've mixed it up as per the directions uh, and applied it generously with a sponge. Uh, the four and a half litres, close to five litres that we made was pretty much the perfect amount uh, to treat the entire camper on all sides and the roof and uh, also the small swag uh, that we did at the same time. Um, we found there's a bit of a unusual gooey residue left uh, after the application I assume this is some of the uh, the product that gets uh, into the fabric uh, as you're applying it and it's beading up um, as we're applying the product with a sponge. Um, what I've done in some places where I thought it was problematic is uh, just picked up some of this this I don't know gooey gooey material and uh, and just worked it into the seams. Um, where I thought that the stitching was uh, was going to let us down. All right, so as you can see, it's sitting in the sun now, uh, drying naturally. Um, there's no need to rinse it off or hose it off. Uh, we have wiped off any excess runs uh, that were starting to show as like a, a white a white mark, a white residue being left behind, and we've just wiped those off with a uh, with the same sponge that we applied it with. Just a little bit there that you can see that we'll get rid of. And we're just using the same sponge and that's all we had left uh, it's probably about 150 or 200 mils of product left over uh, from the application and then as we do it just um just wiping it down to make sure that we're not leaving any obvious runs um, or obvious wet points that will then dry and leave a uh, leave a white stain Uh, this sponge and this bucket are pretty much good for nothing else now uh, So they're just going to be put to the side and used for uh, for future applications So what we're going to do now is leave the camper to dry and then uh, once it's dry uh, thoroughly uh, We'll do a quick inspection and then we'll do a water test to see how good the Nix wax a cotton proof Product is for restoring water repellency on a vintage canvas camper